And to start, let's start with the analyst roundtable conversation we had with Micron's mobile business unit executives, yeah. including Mark Montreef, the corporate VP and general manager of MBU, and Chris Moore, VP of marketing at uh, Micron's MBU. Now, during the show, Micron announced that it's delivering qualification samples of an enhanced version of its universal flash storage or UFS 4.0 mobile solution with breakthrough proprietary firmware that delivers an ultra compact UFS package at nine times 13 millimeters, which is very important in this space. And to complement that, it's built on its 232 layer 3D NAN and offering up to one terabyte of capacity. So we're talking terabytes in this uh, area of the mobile ecosystem. And as such, the UFS uh, 4.0 solution provides advances in performances, as well as enabling faster and more responsive experiences on flagship smartphones, which certainly was a major um, point of interest at the show itself. Now, Micron UFS uh, 4.0 accelerates data intensive experiences with up to 4,000 300 megabytes per second sequential read and 4,000 megabits per second sequential write speed, twice the performance of previous generations. With these speeds, users will be able to launch their favorite productivity and emerging AI apps more swiftly. Large language models and generative AI applications now can be loaded 40% faster, resulting in a smoother experience, I believe, when initializing conversations with AI digital companions. And I don't think it's been an adoption issue, but again, it's improving that experience with you know the large language models, with being able to get more out of ch chat GPT, for example, in a more uh, user-friendly and efficient way. <clears throat> now, uh, working with Micron is Samsung, who's incorporating Micron's low power, double data rate 5X, or LPDDR5X memory and UFS 4.0 mobile st flash storage into select devices across the Samsung Galaxy S24 series, which is really introducing AI to mobile users worldwide. And we saw that the Galaxy S24 series is underpinned by Samsung's suite of Gen AI tools, Galaxy AI, which helps amplify experiences from enabling barrier-free communication to also, again, uh, optimizing creative freedom for the users. Now, as these data and energy intensive features push the limits of smartphone hardware capability, Micron's LPDDR 5X memory and UFS 4.0 storage provides critical high performance capabilities and power efficiency to deliver these AI experiences at the edge. So edge AI, very much a hot topic. And I know we'll talk about that more in detail. Now, select uh, Samsung Galaxy S24 devices across the S24 Ultra, S24 Plus, and S24 models are shipping with both those capabilities. And that is demonstrating from our perspective how Micron is really driving innovation across the smartphone product segment specifically, but again, the overall mobile AI ecosystem. What I think is also important is that Micron's LPDDR 5X is a mobile optimized memory distinguished by offering the advanced capabilities of the one beta process node. So here we are talking semiconductors. We should, of course, mention the process node capability here. And while Micron's UFS 4.0 offers the performance and power needed to store growing amounts of data in today's AI-driven smartphones, I think it's also important to note that Micron announced it has begun volume production of its HVM3E, which stands for High Bandwidth Memory 3E Solution. And why is that a big deal? Because Micron's 24 gigabyte 8H HVM3E will be part of NVIDIA H200 Tensor Core GPUs, which will begin shipping just in the next quarter, Q2 2024. Now, we see this milestone as positioning Micron to further empower AI solutions with HBM3E's performance and energy efficiency features. And of course, you know, driving NVIDIA, we believe will be important in how the market as well as the ecosystem perceives Micron and its strengthening position in terms of, for example, AI capabilities. And that includes certainly uh, AI on the smartphone and devices. 
And with that, I'm going to uh, stop talking about Micron <laughs> in the introduction, but there was so much material. I know, uh, Olivia, you'll have plenty to mind. What was your, uh, you know, uh, some of your key takeaways in our conversation with the Micron folks at the show? So, yeah, uh, and that was that was a really good introduction. So many so many acronyms and part numbers, it's, it's kind of hard to follow. So if, if I could summarize and, and kind of focus right on. on the one thing that um, that really struck me as, as sort of not just relevant, but especially relevant is, you know, when we're talking about the overarching theme of today's show and also at MWC, and, and I hate to steal your thunder ahead of, of when you're going to like talk about this, but it's basically on-device AI, right? And I think that the top three topics at MWC were Yes. On-device AI, on-device AI, and uh, on-device AI. So um, up until now, what we've been talking about with on-device AI is the CPU, mm -hmm. uh, which we all understand what a CPU is, uh, central processing unit. You have the GPU, which is you know, graphics, which is kind of like the, the workhorse for uh, generative AI workloads and also for a lot of camera and gaming applications. Uh, so basically all of, the, all of the kind of like enhanced features of a phone uh, tend to, to require a, an extremely sophisticated GPU. Um, and we're starting to see also neural processing units. So NPUs show up in both PCs, but but on, on phones first, that kind of help manage and accelerate this these AI workloads. But so far, that's been kind of like, these are the three categories of semiconductors that, that we've talked about. Um, and memory has, for the most part, seemed like this this sort of commoditized thing where you know, you get memory on your phone or on your device and you have these different tiers, right? You have like 256 and whatever. Um, but we don't necessarily think about it and think about storage and memory as, as more than just kind of like storage. But actually what's happening with the new requirements of these, these extremely fast AI workloads um, is you need a, a special kind, you need a, a, a memory solution that is well adapted to the power requirements, to the speed, to the processes, and that just kind of like makes this all work. And where Micron has positioned itself, uh, and I think that, um, you know, their, their joint announcement with Samsung and the S24 was so critical and also so telling is that they're kind of like the, the, fur, the fourth leg of that peg, of the, that AI peg, of CPU, GPU, NPU, and memory. And uh, so it, it's, it's a it's fantastic uh, strategy and and it hats off to Micron for making us making it really obvious and and having that conversation and and essentially just kind of like putting this forward in in the eye of uh, of the market and saying no 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 like memory is also part of this it isn't just these other chipsets or the this other semi uh, semiconductor solutions um, but also what what I thought was significant is that Samsung didn't have to do this right. Samsung could have continued to just say hey look you know best implementation we have you know we have our own silicon but we're also mm -hmm. using qualcomm's soc uh you know it's 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 snapdragon flagship plus plus but they they made a choice to showcase to highlight um their partnership on the memory side and and to show look we're we're thinking about this as well and this is what's enabling this and i think i can't remember a time recently when a major handset oem um emphasize their memory partner as as much as, as samsung did today and it was it was definitely different for micron that usually sort of like hangs in the back you yes. know doing their thing and i think it's it's indicative of um i think first of all the, the need for handset oems to differentiate themselves in this new age of you know on device generative ai uh, which is we're going to talk about what what it's going to do I think to the the, the refresh cycles and and resetting them, um, but for for Samsung to do this shows that okay the importance of memory the importance of being having the right partnerships with the right partners in, in the ecosystem uh, to sort of like establish dominance not just as a finished product but as um, as an implementer of all of these different solutions together and showing to to the industry that look we 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 have all the right pieces in place. We have the right partners in place to deliver the best the best product. So huge coup for for Micron, um, and uh, and also I'm I'm smarter for it because I uh, I'll, I'll be completely honest I I was aware of this but not to that extent and so it kind yes. of opened my eyes to the importance of memory and that's 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 cool that's unusual. 
Usually I'm ahead of the game with that, and this time I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. It was a great conversation. And kudos to Samsung for elevating its uh, memory partnership. If I recall correctly, the only other <clears throat> handset OEM that did that at the show was Honor in terms of you know collaborating with Micron to highlight you know the importance of memory. So uh, Samsung at the forefront, Honor also getting honorable mention in this regard. And so we'll stay tuned. We we could actually do the whole show just on yeah. Micron. I think, I think at, at some point we will, because I, I think Micron's a company to watch. Um, oh, yeah. Now that they're on my radar, they should be on everybody else's radar, too, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, I think uh, they're on our radar, and that, I think, uh, will uh, come to the forefront more during the course of this year, especially as AI drives a lot of the smartphone innovation and device innovation.